Ahoy, young word adventurers. Today, we set sail on a voyage to uncover the hidden power of the silent E, a guardian of singular forms amidst a sea of plurals. Imagine a world where every word had to fend off the idea of being plural. That's where our silent hero, the letter E, comes in. This special letter actually has six jobs. One of them is to make sure words that end with the S sound don't look like they are plural. Let's delve into some examples. Look at the word tease. Without the silent E, it might look like tease, hinting at a plural form that doesn't exist. The silent E makes sure no one mistakes the S as suffix S. Otherwise, they may think they're being offered two T's instead of a person making fun of someone. The meaning is totally different. Look at the word false. Without the E, we might think we've had two or more falls. The same goes for else, dense, house, and loose. The silent E stands guard, keeping the words singular and true to their meaning. Now when you look closely, you'll see that this pattern is actually pretty common. Whenever a word could be mistaken for being plural, the silent E swoops in to save the day. So remember, the silent E is not just silent. It's a protector of singular forms, ensuring words don't look plural. Keep an eye out for this sneaky hero in your reading and writing adventures. See you next time.